And uh, let's go back to Rune in the lounge. Now he's ready with the winner of the match, Jan Christoph Duda. Here with uh, Grandmaster Jan Christoph Duda. When you were walking back and forth today, you were so concentrated. For good reason, you brought the heat today. It went right. How? Yeah, actually, it was quite a tense match. Um, it's a bit difficult to say because I won this uh, first game with Black, which normally should be like a very huge achievement and maybe not um, match over, but I mean, almost can match over. And yeah, the game was very tense, actually, with uh, many mistakes from both sides, I guess, because just the nature of the position was so complicated. Um, I thought I was winning at some point, but then Blunder C3, some trick with Night Before uh, Chuck idea after King C6. And I, I mean, I, I thought it was a draw actually there. I also didn't check the game with the engine, so I'm, you know, I'm only saying stupid things right now. Um, yeah, but somehow he didn't push his H pawn, which was kind of surprising to me. And the wrong end game should be uh, should be one with two connected pass pawns. Uh, the second game was kind of, um, I mean, it was terribly played by me. I mean, I uh, chose perfect opening. I got plus minus. I I felt, I felt it during the game, but had so many options to go like um, so, so many opportunities to play in basically almost each move. Yeah, and then somehow, I mean, I didn't play this that well, but still got reasonable position and then played some uh, empty move rookie 5, which is kind of, uh, I mean, total blackout. Uh, like, I only calculated queen f6 and forgot that he can just uh, play queen d7 or, uh, or queen c8, and I'm, like, losing actually to Tempi because f6 is a threat uh, with mm -hmm. double attack. So, yeah, and after that, I also blundered the pawn on d5, <laughs> which was, uh, uh, I mean, I was uh, I was frustrated, to be honest, and also kind um, of, I uh, also didn't have that much time, but, um, yeah, I just blundered the pawn, and I think the wrong game was completely, uh, I mean, totally hopeless. There was no chance to save it. Uh, okay, the third game was, um, again, I was pressing, but, um, yeah, I played knight h5 too early, I think. Uh, I just forgot about bishop e5, maybe knight h7 or something like this was an improvement. I don't know, I had a feeling that he was basically tr trying to trade pieces and made draw because he was very peaceful. Uh, I mean, he played in a very peaceful way. Um, yeah, but somehow I was sort of pressing but didn't use my moment and then, okay, it was like nominally better for uh, black, I guess, but um, still still rather drawish and didn't um, just didn't find didn't find anything okay and for the game i managed to win actually i um, played a tempo the line i i mean i wanted to play something else i played queen b3 and queen d1 which has uh, i mean the variation from my side had uh, yeah. absolutely no point like playing queen a4 and then queen b3 and it was kind of level but actually i was kind of um, tense about my position I got through some knight a5 jumps, knight c4. Um, yeah, but I was very surprised that he actually played e5 move because, okay, he had played like this in the candidates, for example, I mean, this structure with the spawn c6, d5 with black, but uh, I didn't see like absolutely, I mean, no need to play like this because he was like, um, I, mean, I fought slightly worse after that, maybe, maybe okay, but I was the one uh, pressing, so. Uh, and then, okay, it was like, he just uh, made a mistake. I mean, he allowed me to trade queens, which was good for me, of course, but still it was okay for him, and he just blundered after d4 rooks uh, c5, and it was basically game over, even though he didn't trust my uh, technique and was <laughs> playing till the very end. Yeah, he didn't trust your uh, technique, and you didn't check the game with the engine, but you did check the game with Anish, discussing it uh, after the game in the arena, and also just over here. So what did he have uh, to say for himself? Yeah, no, basically we fought alike in that game. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, it would be preferable to him not to trade queens, that was the way fought and and also he suggested the line uh, shown by computer I also had seen with Bishop H3 which was um, apparently a, uh, I don't know maybe perpetual or some sort sort of because uh, we both were under impression that I'm running away making but apparently it wasn't the case so yeah but I was in control I think maybe I um, I, I also understood that Queen E5 right away uh, might have been not that great maybe some Knight C5 and so on. I expected that computer would uh, laugh Black's attack, to be honest, but during the game it was kind of, I mean, annoying, you know, this, this heavy stuff on the H-file. 
and yeah, I decided to trade queens and maybe not in the best moment. Maybe could have played some uh, improving move first and only then trade queens. Thank you very much and back to Kaya and the team in the studio.